so this is the big moment. This is the spring equinox, the moment of the spring equinox, 1257 Eastern Daylight Time or 16 hours and so universal time. That means that we should be able to balance an egg on its edge on the equinox, all right? I have a very smooth surface right here. We've even sanded and washed it to make sure we're not cheating. And if the gravity balance is just right, then we should be able to balance this egg. Ready? Here we go. Takes practice. We should be able to do it. Let's see if it works. Might be off by a few seconds. Let me check my clock. There. Off by a few seconds. Should kick in in a minute. Should be able to balance it just perfectly. All right, here we go. Add it for a second. And. Yes! So at this moment, right now, the gravity of the Earth and the Sun and the Moon is just precisely balanced, only happens twice a year on the first day of spring or the first day of fall, where all the gravity is perfectly balanced and you can balance an egg on its tail. Well, no. Actually, that's not true. Because actually, this is what it is. Spring doesn't start till tomorrow. So really, I'm balancing an egg on its edge and you can do that pretty much any old time you want. I wanted to show you this to show you that you can balance an egg on its end no matter where you are, as long as you're not in something that's moving, no matter what kind of egg you have, whether it's hard boiled or not. And with enough practice, you can balance it on a soft surface. There really is no special balance that happens with the gravity of the Earth and the Sun and the Moon. In fact, the Earth, as it rotates like this, it is being tugged on. It's being tugged on by the Moon, and that does cause the Earth to kind of tip over. Sort of. What happens is that the Earth goes like this. It moves in a motion like a spinning top once every 27,000 years. That's called precession. But the Earth is very big compared to how far away the Moon is, and compared to how far away the Sun is. And the equinox, after all, is when you have the Earth in a certain position and the Sun in a certain position compared to the angle of the Earth. So basically, right now, if that egg was the Sun, then the Earth would be like this. In winter time, in our hemisphere, the Earth would be like this. In summertime, in our hemisphere, the Earth would be like this. Now that happens because the Earth is tilted as it goes around the Sun, with one axis pointing toward the North Pole, rather the North Star. And as it points at the North Star, as we go around the Sun, like this, that apparent tilt of the Earth means that sometimes we're tilted toward the Sun, sometimes we're tilted away. But the Earth's Sun doesn't have any effect on eggs, except making them go bad. But other than that, you can balance an egg pretty much any old time you want. So, this is Mark Taylor from the Hudson River Museum in Yonkers, New York. Hoping you have a great egg balancing day, whatever day you decide to do it.